Hey y'all, thank you so much for joining me today. My name's Julie, this is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel, and if this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscription button if you're interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis. Today, we are fixing sausage taco cauliflower rice. I am very excited about it, as always. I love food, super excited about food, and I'm starving. I just got home from work, really didn't have time for lunch today, and haven't eaten since like six o'clock this morning, so let's get this going. In my pan, I have a pound of sausage and some butter. We're gonna cook that at hmm, medium to high heat until it is partially cooked. Then we're gonna add a few more ingredients. Be right back. If you're not a big sausage lover, you can definitely substitute hamburger meat or even turkey burger if you wanted to. Our sausage is starting to cook up a little bit and I do not have a microwave, so I'm gonna go ahead and cook my cauliflower rice just a little bit. I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper. If y'all have a microwave though, you can definitely just throw your cauliflower rice in the microwave to make it easier. And now this sausage is going to get some onions, some peppers, some garlic. We're gonna saute this for just a few minutes. This smells absolutely delicious. All right, next we're gonna add a packet of taco seasonings, and y'all can definitely feel free to use the low sodium if that's what you like. Three fresh diced tomatoes. We're gonna cut the heat back to medium. Next we're gonna add in three quarter cup of chicken broth. And now our steamed cauliflower rice. We're gonna let this cook for about five to seven minutes and let some of that uh, liquid absorb. We're gonna add some cheese. All right, we have had this simmering for more like 10 minutes. I Earlier I said five to seven, but it was actually more like 10. And now I am going to add the cheese. You can do whatever kind of cheese you like. I'm just doing Monterey Jack. That's what I had on hand and I like it. So we're just going to Sprinkle this over the top and cover it until the cheese melts. And that's it. And then we're gonna dig in. Sprinkle this right over the top. And I actually don't have a lid big enough to cover this big old pan, so I'm just gonna lay some foil over it. Just a minute or two. Gonna cut that off and let the cheese melt down all over the top. Okay. It's done, it's time to eat, it's time to eat. Oh, yum. Oh. So hungry. And, and I'm gonna add a dollop of sour cream. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it now. Oh my gosh, I wish I could really see how amazing this looks. This kind of just looks like a sloppy mess on here, but it's not. It's good, it's gonna be so good. Super hot, I really don't wanna burn my tongue. Mm. Oh yeah, the angels are singing somewhere. Ooh, that's good. <laughs> Yum. Well, we have another winner. This is incredible. I'm about to hop off here because I'm gonna dig into this. I don't know, maybe I'll eat the whole pan. No, probably not. If you drop down below, you're gonna have the entire recipe with all the measurements and ingredients listed below, or you can head on over to my Instagram page, The Retro Apron, it's all one word. It'll be listed there as well. Thank y'all so much for stopping in today. I appreciate it so much. Give it a try.